Hey Joe here and welcome to session 2, series 3 of the RK 5 Minute Guides. Following on from the last session where we looked at importing elements, this session will look at how you can import matching relations into the RK model. To recap, the previous session outlined an import scenario noting the three available upload files. The scenario looked at importing a list of capabilities through the elements upload file and the next step is to match the source and target IDs to prepare the relations file. From the original capability spreadsheet, we created an elements file and uploaded it to Arche. Using Excel's VLOOKUP function, we can match the capability levels to the corresponding element ID. Create a new tab in the capability workbook and rename it elements. Copy and paste or insert the elements file into the elements tab. The VLOOKUP expects the first column to be the lookup value, in this case element name. So we need to move the element name to the first column. Insert a column before column A, cut column D and paste in A, delete column D. To make it easier to manage, we will create a range as a table. Select all the columns and rows and insert as table, making sure we include the first row as headers. For tidiness, we will name this table elements T. And of course, ensure the table is sorted by the first column. Now create a new worksheet and name it Relations. Copy level 1 and level 2 to the new sheet. Enter the column fields for source and target. Select the VLOOKUP function. The lookup value is level 1 name. The table array is the elements table. The column index is our ID, in this case column 2. And we want an exact match, so the value here is false. Copy the formula across and then down. Create a new workbook and add the necessary fields for our relations table. ID, type, name, documentation, source and target. Copy the source and target from our relations tab and paste values. If we do a straightforward paste here, we'll end up with the VLOOKUP formula, which is not what we want. For simplicity, we will keep all the rows as composition relationship. And save the file as relations.csv in our allocated import folder. If you have the same folder as the previous elements upload, we need to remove the elements file to avoid importing the elements twice, which would create duplicates in our model. In Archie, select File and Import from CSV, selecting our allocated import folder. And you'll notice the relation folder is now populated. Moving up the model, we can see that Access Channels has the relationships in the Navigator window. Let's build a view from our billing element. From the Navigator, select all the billing relationships and drag them to the view. Make some room in the billing object to nest the related elements. Remove the connectors from our view by selecting Touched by Connections selector. Then reselect our pointer selector and tidy up our objects. Well, that concludes our session on importing relations. In the next session, we'll cover how to import properties by converting spreadsheet columns into key value pairs. I hope this session has brought you some value and thanks for your time. Thank you.